Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian National Mathematical Olympiad for 9th graders, 2023, problem number 2. We wish to find all functions f from the set of re real numbers into itself, such that f of f of x plus y times f of x is less than or equal x plus x times f of f of y for all real numbers x and y. So this time, functional inequality. Here are my hints for this problem. First, set x to be 0 and find f of 0. Then set y to be 0 and deduce from that that f of f of x must be less than or equal x. And finally, set x to be 1 to show that f of f of x equals x. And that should be sufficient to finish, finish this problem. So give it a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my solution. As I suggested, let's start with setting set, set x to be 0. What do we have now? Well, we have f of f of 0 plus y times f of 0 is less than or equal, well, 0. <laughs> and remember, crucially, that that is true for all real numbers y. Now think about it. Y is arbitrary. So if f of 0 were not to be 0, then we can have arbitrary large number of the left hand side. So it won't be uh, less than or equal 0 every time. The only possibility for that to be true is that f of 0 must be 0. Yes, this term right here must be 0. Okay, now, so now we know something, and let's use it. So now let's set y to be 0. If I set y to be 0, I have the following. Well, f of f of x plus 0 is less than or equal x plus x times f of f of 0. But f of 0 is 0, and f of 0 is 0 again. So... To be honest, we have established that for every real number x, f of f of x is less than or equal x. Very well. And now let's set uh, x to be 1. So let's take our initial functional equation and put x to be 1. What do we have? Well, we have f of f of 1 plus y times f of 1, y times f of 1 is less than or equal, is less than or equal x plus, uh, no, sorry, let's, x is 1, x is 1, so we have f of f of 1 plus y times f of 1 is less than or equal 1 plus f of f of y. But f of f of y, by our condition, which I will mark double asterisk, because my initial condition, I will mark it one asterisk. By double asterisk, I know that this is less than or equal 1 plus y. 1 plus y. Yes, I'm using double asterisk right here. And now I can rearrange and get... Uh, y times f of 1 minus 1 is always less than or equal 1 minus f of f of 1. And notice again, that is true for every real number y. The only possibility for that to be true is that this number right here must be 0. So in other words, f of 1 equals 1. It must be equal 1. Okay. And now, let's take this knowledge and let's uh, use this knowledge. And we have now f of f of 1, but f of 1 is 1. And again, it's 1. So 1 plus y is less than or equal 1 plus f of f of y. So in other words, in other words, for every real number y, 
y is less than or equal f of f of y. Okay. Now I will mark it double, uh, triple asterisk. And notice that by double asterisk and by triple asterisk, double asterisk says that f of f of x is less than or equal x. Triple asterisk says that f of f of y is greater than or equal y. So, by double asterisk and triple asterisk, we get the following. For every, for every real number x, f of f of x equals x. It must be equal. Perfect. Now we know, now we know very much. And now let's go back to our very first equation. And now we know that f of f of x is x, f of f of y is y. So our condition asterisk can be rewritten in the following way asterisk becomes becomes y plus y plus uh, sorry x plus y times f of x x plus y times f of x is less than or equal x plus xy x plus xy, in other words, uh, y f of x minus x is always less than or equal zero. And remember that that should be true, crucially, let's put quantifiers, for every real number x and for every real number y. Uh, y times f of x minus x is less than or equal zero but again y is arbitrary arbitrary so the only possibility for that to hold for every y is that this parenthesis must be constantly zero so for every real number x f of x must be constant must be x must be x so now we have only one possible solution, and let's verify it. It's very important to do verification. 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 Left-hand side of our equation asterisk is what exactly? It was uh, f of f of x plus y times f of x. It's x plus y x and right hand side, the right hand side of our condition asterisk is uh, is what? It's x plus x times f of f of y. Clearly, x plus x y. We have exactly the same. So the only solution. The only solution of our equation is identity function. f of x equals x for every real number x. And that's it. That closes our problem. Very nice problem. As usual, Romanian problems from, problems from, math, from Romanian mathematical Olympiads are very entertaining. Very beautiful. Uh, yes, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.